I think it's dangerous that to, for us to be living in a world where we are, in fact, un discovering the physical basis for things. <laughs> and there's okay. people like you. Uh -huh, people there's like people okay. like you. Yo, hey, you called us to I call us you. dangerous. Right back at you. Okay? okay. Cavemen <laughs> like you who want to reject what has actually been discovered because it kind of creeps you what out. What has been discovered? You are what has a... been discovered? What are you talking about? The, we, we know vast amounts about how the brain works. I'm not talking and, about the brain. All I'm right. talking about the mind. I've had my say, and you've had your say over what is, and over and what over is again. The mind? Just, what, what is, is your mind? Rather ineptly, like what is the mind? Do. What is the mind? What is the mind? That's a great question. And because I'm a solipsist, because I'm uncertain... You're, you're a, a solipsist? solipsist? I'm trapped like most people... I wow. Didn't need to, why didn't you start? If you're a solipsist, <laughs> um, we're all just figments of your frickin' imagination anyway, so why don't you stay home and mentally masturbate instead of calling a waste of time on our show? Ask yourself why you're imagining uh, you know, a couple of guys like us who are going to sit here and argue with you if, yeah. in fact, you, the entire universe is just you know, an imaginary creation of your own. Yeah. Wow. Uh, until you actually demonstrate wow. that something that you want to label a mind actually exists as a thing, um, now you're just talking about abstracts. And it's, and it's a waste of our time, which is why we went round and round. Uh, yeah, enough of that. Yeah, we, yeah I, didn't, I didn't go Louisville. far enough. I think it's dangerous to live in a world with like nuclear bombs yeah. when there's solipsists running around loose. Uh, it's, it's dangerous that you guys are actually in favor of investigating to discover the real versus the unreal. Well, sorry, some of us give Hi. a damn. Hey, Hi. Ed. Delay. Sorry, Hello? we intruded on your phone call. To yeah, thanks for off tolerating that. What can we do for you? Hello, Hello. Uh, this is Ed in Louisville. Hi, yeah. Ed. Yeah. You're okay, on. great. Uh, I was going to talk about the uh, Kentucky Homeland Security lawsuit. Uh, Kentucky seems to be one of the states that's giving Texas a run for its money in uh, bad Christian policies interfering with uh, the government. Yeah. Okay. Had, why, uh, why, can you quickly summarize what's going on there in Kentucky for our viewers who might not know? And me. The Kentucky since I don't Homeland know. Security lawsuit. Uh, after September 11th, uh, there are, the governor, in a yearly report, has to acknowledge uh, security of the Commonwealth is dependent upon Almighty God. As oh, the, that. Right. As does the, uh, in a yearly report, as does the um, EOC, uh, Emergency Operations Center, in all its education and training materials, and a plaque has been posted stating, uh, making a statement with that, also with uh, Bible verses on it, uh, posted in the state capitol in Frankfurt. That's just one of our many uh, problems. Uh, yeah. We won that lawsuit at the uh, district level. It is now in the appeals, and the state has uh, written their appeal, and we're in the process of, of writing our response to that. Okay. Well, good work. Uh, how do you think that's going to go? Uh, we think that we're going to win. We won at the district level. Uh, recently, the state Supreme Court also... Uh, ruled against uh, public funding to Baptist University for a pharmacy college because they were denying admission to uh, certain individuals, such as homosexuals, into their college. There's been a whole slew of church-state separation violations here in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, there was a high school football coach who took his players the revival, and seven of them got baptized. There's a lawsuit about a Baptist children home that uh, coerces children to become Baptist. Uh, there have been other laws recently. They had the 21st Century Bill of Rights. This one actually was not passed, but it would have amended the Kentucky Constitution, claiming that it could ignore the United States Constitution via the Tenth Amendment. <laughs> and it would have made it illegal any law from the federal government that limited the posting of the Ten Commandments. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, it also had some other right wing stuff in it. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, about guns and ammunition. Uh, let's see. Know that basically any law that all these laws would be avoid, avoided. Any law that should compel certain persons to participate in health care systems, provide a, abortion service, surrender firearms, prevent. It has some things about the coal industry that's kind of local. Posting the Ten Commandments. Uh-huh. Actions motivated by sincerely held religious belief. And those are some of the main things. But basically, it, it, it sounded to me almost like this amendment would have had Kentucky leave the Union. I thought they were all going to move to South Carolina. but Yeah. I was looking forward to that. That You remember when... when uh, that, when some fundamentalists wanted to, yeah, they wanted to pull up stakes and all move to, was it South Carolina? I think it was South Carolina. I, th- I was looking forward to that because I thought then we'd just build a wall around it and we're done. But yeah. South Carolina was one of the states that, uh, uh, hope you still hear me, South Carolina yeah. was one of the states that uh, I was thinking of when I said one of the states giving Texas a run for its money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm in big support of the May 16th rally. I won't be able to be here. Be Ed, there, but, Ed uh, are, you, are you with an organization in Kentucky then? And what's your organization? I am a member of a couple of national organizations, uh, American Atheist and Freedom From Religion Foundation. Uh-huh. And I'm also highly involved in the Louisville Atheist and Free Thinkers. Cool. So who is actually behind the, um, the ongoing lawsuit? The lawsuit is uh, American Atheists, okay. and they have been victorious, and uh, th- there's, b- because this one actually compels individuals, government officials to make statements, it goes beyond any claim of ceremonial deism, yeah. and we've, yeah. it, it, we firmly believe that we'll probably be victorious in this, and the fact that the state Supreme Court ruled uh, correctly in a recent church state separation uh, lawsuit regarding the funding to a pharmacy college at a Baptist university, uh, we think that that bodes well for us. But you never know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, very um, um, interesting. Yeah. Good luck out there. All right. Thanks. And you do, guys do a great job. Thanks, Ed. Thanks for calling, man. And if you guys have all this stuff going on in your area, uh, you know, if you don't have a local group, obviously you can start up a local group. It's really not that hard. Ours started with an ad in the newspaper and grew from there. Um, you know, I realize that, you know, people have all often asked, you know, why would you atheists get together to talk about not believing in stuff? And uh, we don't. <laughs> we, we get together, first of all, because we like to socialize with people. Uh-huh. But also we talk about the things that we do believe in and the things that we do care about. And about how to defend ourselves from yes. efforts by others to get us to believe in some things that we don't believe. Yes, and when you take away our defense... Oh, never mind, I won't <laughs> I, I'm still baffled. How can I take... I, you know. Oh, boy. And by the way, uh, you know, just to backtrack a little, um, if you're a solipsist, aren't you taking away your own defense? Just I don't know why a solipsist would be concerned about uploading of consciousness into a computer. All he has to do is believe that, didn't, that it doesn't happen. Well, he's not still on to ask, and, and for that I'm almost willing to thank God. Uh, but <laughs> We got Kyle and Abilene. How you doing? Kyle? Kyle? Oh, hello? Hi, Hi Kyle. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. How are you? Man, it's, it's uh, truly an honor to talk to both you guys and, 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 and the rest of you, too, man. I've been trying to get to get in there and talk to you guys for quite a while. And uh, I haven't noticed you guys have uh, had a caller from, from Abilene ever. But uh, uh, you had a caller a while back that uh, you were argue, arguing with uh, about uh, abiogenesis. And uh, right as the call ended, you... You said um, it's been done, uh, creating life from non-life. Uh, go look it up. And uh, uh, as an atheist, uh, um, I was surprised by that. So uh, I did a little bit of research, not very thorough, but I just found the experiments in the 50s. The Miller-Urey experiments? The what? Miller-Urey experiments in 53? Yeah, yeah. That, Those aren't yeah, the only familiar. ones. Those aren't the only ones, but yeah. 